how much it is going to cost to run an Oracle database in Oracle Cloud. There are a lot of factors to consider before we answer that question. First one is, do you want to just a database or do you want to access to underlying operating system on which your Oracle database is running? Second, do you want to run the Oracle database as a shared infrastructure co-located with other folks in the cloud? Or do you want a dedicated mission? Or do you want a horsepower of XR data? How many number of CPUs? Are you going to run your database server for 24 by 7? A lot of factors to consider. Before we actually get in and, and spin up a new database instance, Oracle is giving us a flexibility to estimate the cloud cost. This is the URL. I will keep this URL as part of this lecture's notes section. Once you open this URL, here is a drop down. For database, there are two options here autonomous data management, and the one is data management. Let's start with the data management first. These are all the options you have under data management Oracle DBCS, database cloud service. You get a VM. On top of it, you have a database running. Oracle database cloud service bare metal. You just get a bare metal instance. This is only single instance. You, you don't have a rack available in, in this option. Exadata database cloud service. You have databases running on Exadata. Do you want MySQL database service? You can have Exadata deployed behind customers' firewalls. The NoSQL database service and big data service. I'm just going to concentrate only on the Oracle specific options. The first one is Oracle Database Cloud Service Virtual Mission. Click on the Add, expand this database option. How many number of instances of database you want? Just one, maybe two, one for development and one for QA. Maybe just fine with one for now. So we are going to run this 31 days, 24 hours a day. Here is a configuration you have to choose. What kind of a database version you want? Do you want a standard edition, enterprise edition, enterprise edition with high performance, enterprise edition with extreme performance? This is the only rack option. Or do you want to bring your own license? So all these four are license included. This is bring your own license. Let's say enterprise extreme edition. Number of OCPUs per hour, let's say you want four OCPUs. For extreme edition under extreme performance, it's going to cost $1,000 per OCPU per month. So the cost to run this configuration mission is $4,000 per month. Let's add a next option, Oracle Database Cloud Service Bare Metal. I don't give a lot of attention to this because as per an Oracle note number, these are getting deprecated by end of 2022. Let me show you that note number. If you read this doc ID, this serves as a formal notice that Oracle is transitioning the Oracle database cloud services on X7 bare metal shapes to the end of the life as of December 31st, 2022. So the advice that Oracle is giving is you must transition to an updated version. For example, Oracle DBCS Cloud, virtual mission option, or autonomous database, or database exadata cloud service. So just since the option is available here, let's explore what kind of a bare metal instance you want. Just so extreme performance, how many environments you want. Just one is fine. Uh, do we want additional capacity? How many CPUs? Let's say four CPUs. Extreme performance. So this is the cost for bare metal. Let's add Exadata database cloud service. Do you want just a base system? Do you want X8 mission or do you want X8M mission? I'm going to choose X8M. So the quarter rack comes up with two database servers and three storage servers. So I want one quarter rack. I want two database servers. This is the minimum configuration you get with X8M. The storage servers and 
how many OCP used on the database server I want. Four OCP use. So this is the cost for running something on the Exadata database cloud service monthly. You see the drastic difference in the cost. Just the VM co-located with other folks in the cloud. You have your own dedicated uh, non-exadata box. Having an exadata box per month costs this much, just for four CPUs. If you want, you can generate a report. You can save as PDF. Let's get into another section called autonomous data management. If you are coming from AWS background, this is something like AWS RDS option. You don't have underlying OS access or probably Azure SQL kind of an option. You don't have an underlying OS access. Here are four important options you have. Autonomous transaction processing for OLTP workloads. Autonomous data warehouse, which is for data warehousing workloads. Autonomous transaction processing is also called as ATP, A, T, and P. This is uh, called as ADW, Autonomous Data Warehouse. Let me add transactional processing shared infrastructure. Which ATP version I want? Two simple options. It's, it's always Enterprise Edition, runs on Exadata. Am I going to bring my own license or license included option? I want four OCPUs. I have to choose the storage here. The minimum storage you have to choose is at least one terabyte. So this is what it is going to cost to run ATP. There is hardly any difference between DBCS on virtual mission versus ATP, which is kind of an RDS option in AWS. Now let's get into dedicated and see how much it costs. In this, in this whole exercise, I'm nowhere choosing bring your own license. I'm always choosing license included option. So do you want quarter rack? Of course, one hosted environment. So this is what it is going to cost if I want a dedicated infrastructure for four OCPUs. Let's get into data warehouse, shared infrastructure. ATP shared versus AW shared, both are costing same. Let's go to dedicated ADW. So these are the final costs. First three are with the OS option. These four are autonomous self-driving database options. Cool. Like I said previously, yes, you can download uh, this as a PDF. That is all for this lecture.